The humerus is the long bone of the upper arm of human beings and other tetrapod vertebrates. This bone originates from the shoulder blade known as the scapula and ends at the elbow. The head part of the bone serves as a connection between the scapula and the elbow where it links to the two lower arm bones. It articulates with the glenoid fossa of the scapula. It is located in the upper arm. You could remember it by knowing that it joins to the shoulder and the forearm. The lesser tubercles is a place of attach attachment for the last rotator cuff muscle. It articulates with the scapula. It is located immediately on the bone. You can remember it by knowing that it is much smaller and located more in the middle on the bone. The greater tubercle. It is an attachment site for three of the rotator cuff muscles. It articulates with the scapula. You remember it by it has an anterior and posterior face. It is located later, laterally on the humerus. The deltoid tuberosity is a bumpy area on the shaft of the humerus which the deltoid muscle is attached to. It articulates with the attachment of the deltoid muscle. You remember it by it is on the middle part of the bone. It is located on the lateral edge of the mid-humeral shaft. Thro trochelli is located medially on the distal end of the humerus. The capitulum is the distal end of the humerus presents a small dome-like articular surface termed the capitulum. It articulates with the head of the radius. Lateral and medial epicondyles are located on the inside of the arm. Um, the ulna is the thinner of the two of the two bones on the forearm. This one is longer and more medial than the than the radius, and it extends from the elbow to the wrist. And it articulates with the humerus and the radius. And it, it articulates with the radius twice near the elbow and also near the wrist. It's located in the forearm. And some things you need to know about it is um, the ol olcranon process. It's like the top of this bone, I guess. Uh, the coronoid process is this thing sticking out here. And this is the radial notch is where the radius is connected to this bone. This is the elbow part up here. And um, trochlear notch. This is this is also where the radius connects. And the head of the ulna is just just this whole thing down here. And the styloid process is the little bump right here that's sticking out. And then the radius is. What is the other bone in the forearm, and a way you can remember remember it is it's located on the thumb side of the forearm, and oops, oh no, <laughs> it provides structure and works with the ulna. Um, distally, the head of the ulna articulates with the um, ulna rod notch on the radius and um, the distal end of the radius articulates with the three bones of the wrist. And some things you should know about the radius is the head, which is this, just this top part up here, the radial tuberosity, which is a little thing sticking out of there, and the styloid process, which is just this end point here. And yeah, that's all.